Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get an, a wired and a wireless internet connection on your PS3. So I took my PS3 apart, like um, just took out the wires and go ahead and show you the wire connection. What you need to do, well, this connection I use. What you need to do is you need to get the internet cable that's behind your modem. Right here, this is your modem. You get the, this internet cable right here, it says we're in the back internet cable. You get that, you keep one end into the modem. But the other end is behind this right here. But then you come by, back here, you look for it, there it is right there. Right here, you disconnect that from the PC. So now you can't, now you, we can't use your internet on your computer until you rehook it up. Okay, let me unplug both sides real quick. Okay, that's your, that is your internet cable. One side's like this, the other side's just the same. There's t now there's two ends. One end goes, like I said, one goes to the modem. The other one goes into the PS3 right here. See the barcode all the way over. First one right there. That's where you plug in. Okay. So real quick, let me go and plug this back into the modem. Okay. Now what Sony? I was reading on Sony, and it was telling me that when you first plug it in, turn everything off. I really don't think all that's necessary, so which is, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I have to move it into here. Plug up the PS3. Just plug it in real quick. And I, I got a small TV to work with because my dad took it up once I gotta use this for now. Okay. Uh, then, of course, turn on PS3. Hold on a second, let me change my background so it's not so bright. I can go into control, I'll be right back. Okay, one second, let me change my background so you can see it. See, I got my little one in on there. But once it's up and in, what you do is you go onto, where is it? Network settings, the very bottom one under settings. You go to internet connection settings. Like if you point internet connection, the system will be disconnected. Yes. You will hit yes. Sorry for the blurry vision, but once you once you get that, it's easy and custom. Pick easy. If your modem is plugged, in, mine ain't plugged in. Hold up. <sighs> you gotta cancel it. Plug. Make sure your modem is plugged. The no, um, internet cable is plugged in, like so. Then go to hit easy. Let it come. Check for the network configuration. It may take a little bit, just depending on how fast your connection is. Then once you do that, it's going to auto-detect. It's going to set everything up. Just hit, hit X to enter, and then test your connection. Do you see, obtain IP address, internet connection, PlayStation Network, everything else. It should all say succeed, like the first two say succeeded. Now it's checking the PlayStation Network, the UPnP, and the NAT type. I don't even know what those two are. But just, you got to let those three. As long as you get, as long as you can obtain the IP, connect, IP address and internet connection, and sometimes, usually if you want to, the PlayStation Network, then you're good. I don't even know what the other two do. They might time out, but as long as the top two work, you're good. Let's get a second. Well, PlayStation Connect, um, the PlayStation Connection, I mean, PlayStation Network timed out. But, okay. So now you're hooked up to, now hooked up to the internet. 
then if you make if you already make an account if you haven't made an account and you hit sign in it's going to have you tell you to make an account stuff like that but if you already made one it's going to have you sign in you can set it to sign, automatically sign yourself in so now I'm signed in to my internet there's my um, username ECW extremist same thing on my YouTube block list add friend players met all these play these are all the recent players I've met this weekend you only can keep a certain amount so if you want to add any of them add them before they, you play someone else you get your name you'll get all the people you added and then you get anybody else, who, else who's online For some reason that's only showing me everyone I've tried to add okay I got three friends online right now so they'll show you all your three friends on they will start showing all your other friends you got they all should start coming up in a little bit but you can go to account management you can go to PlayStation home this PlayStation Store. Download management. If you're sitting, if you're sitting here, you want demos. You could download demos. If you're not doing anything, just let having it sit there. Just do that. Eventually, all your friends will come up. You have them all to choose from. Let me see. No, it's not all of them. If you got a lot of friends, it'll take you a little bit. I got a lot of friends, so it'll take a while for them all to come up. Like I said, you can go to PlayStation Store and download demos. See right here, here are all my demos. I got nine. I deleted a few. But I got three on three NHL hockey arcade. Skate two. NCAA 09. NFL Tour. Mirror's Edge. SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. Skate one. Then of course I got NBA Live 09. And Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Of course, if you get certain games, have trophy, um, trophy, um, what's it called? If you if they can get trophies, you actually can get trophies for them. Out of my games, all eleven of them, well, ten, cause I'm taking one back. But out of eleven of my games, I have four trophies for four of them. Grand Theft Auto Four, which I don't use trophies for, cause I don't do, already beat the game. Battlefield Bad, my bad. Battlefield Bad Company, twenty one percent. Burnout Paradise, and then Bliss. League 2. There's not really that many games that have trophy support right now, but as I've read, Sony's gonna make it mandatory for all your games. All the new games coming out. Yeah, there's all my friends right there. There's D Star, D S DJ, D Star, uh, Phenom for Life, that's AJ, Alex Vasquez. Okay, so now you got the online working. We what, what, what wanna play a game. I hear my game Stranglehold. Let it load up real quick. Go get online with Stranglehold real quick. And then I'll get. I'll show you like different what different ways of look online. So I'll show you Stranglehold, and then I'll show Envy your lava way. This is actually a really good game, but okay. He'll keep it okay. Yeah, we understand it's an HD. We understand things in HD. Okay, so now you get the online connection working. You can go to online, right there. Oh, that's unlocked. Get online. So here's versus, quick play, online leagues, quick math, quick pick lobby, everything. See, listen. Attempt to salvage things. The Indianapolis Colts today made it official. The divorce with Marvin Harrison is final. 13 years of Colts. He's the second leading receiver in NFL history. He's been released. Can you say on the bubble? Penn State, 19 and 8, 8 and 6 in the Big Ten. Ohio State, 17 and 8, 7 and 7 in the league. They play in. They did it. He's gone. Marvin Harrison ain't with the Colts no more. See, oh eight and get all new fees. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you a wired connection real quick, then I'll be done with this video. Okay, for wired connection, you do the same thing, go over to settings, go down to network settings. Then you hit connection settings, hit yes, unplug, 
the wireless connection, so you can't use that. Hit easy. Mine might take a little bit because I use, uh, then you get a pick right here. Select the connection method using wire connection method have internet cable. So either wire connection or wireless. Hit wireless, you will hit scan. You'll scan just like a PSP, you'll find all these connections. I don't have the passwords, I can't use any of them. You'll pick it. If there's no pa no connection, you go to none. It's not going to work, won't be able to go that far. You just keep going none, go to the end, same thing. It works just like a wire connection. So that's it. That's really all that's all to it. It's not much to download. But there you go. That's how to get a wired and wireless connection on PS3.